Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to share another handbag video with you guys. I recently added a new handbag to my collection and I'm really anxious to share it with you guys because I'm super excited about this purchase. I really truly kind of fell for this bag. It was one of those I gotta have type of things. So let's just get into this video. So this is my new bag. This is my 3.1 Philip Lim Rider Small Satchel. So let me give you guys a little background about the bag. So basically um, what happened was, I was shopping at Neiman Marcus at the designer handbag sale. I came across the Philip Lim Rider Satchel in small. They had it as well on sale. Now they did not have this exact one. They had like a textured leather version and it was in like a burgundy color. Um, that bag I had never seen in person. So it really caught my attention. It was like one of those bags that I hadn't even like noticed before. But I love the design of it. I tried it on. It just looked great, felt great. And I was like, wow, this bag is amazing. Now that day I couldn't spend too much time on it because I had my eye on the Alexander Wayne Prisma bag that you guys saw in my unboxing video. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it below. But so that so that's the story. So I spotted this bag shopping for my Alexander Wang. Now, fast forward to Black Friday, I was doing a little online browsing and I came across the three the Philip Lim Rider Satchel on Barney's website. This combination, the black leather with this nickel silver tone hardware. The bag was on sale, okay? major sale. I'm talking a third of the price. This bag retails for $895, $900, and it was on sale at Barney's for $319. If I can find that Barney's link, I will put it below as well. Now, that price is amazing. That was like, wow, okay, a third of the price. Let me see if I can make this happen. So, unfortunately, Barney's uh, website was sold out of the item but I called into Barney's store and they actually did have the item. They had a fresh one and they were willing to sell it to me over the phone and send it to my home. Now, here's the thing. Of course, I would have to pay like sales tax, but on top of the sales tax, I was going to have to pay for shipping, which I kind of was disappointed about because on the website offers free shipping and they had the product in stock they just didn't have it to ship from the website i guess warehouse so i kind of was annoyed i would have to pay shipping considering they had it but their website is selling the same item for free shipping so i kind of asked them to just hold off on it i was going to think about it the shipping was kind of irritating me to say the least so I um, contacted Nordstrom. Nordstrom had the exact bag on their website, but Nordstrom did not have it discounted at all. It was still listed at regular price. So I called um, up Nordstrom's customer service. I spoke with an associate who, you know, I explained. I said, hey, I was looking to buy this bag. You, you know, most places has it um, on sale, but you guys don't even have it discounted. And she said, okay, well, where have you seen it? And I said, well... Uh, Barney's has it currently for $3.19, which again is an amazing price. It's almost oh, like almost 75% off, right? So um, she said, wow, that's a great price. Like Barney's has it for $3.19. Okay, I, we can, I said, would you guys be able to price match? She said, definitely, we would love to price match it. I just have to contact Barney's and confirm that it's the same identical bag like the same color same hardware like it's the exact bag that they have for 319 so I said sure I mean I knew it was the same bag so I said sure so put me on hold comes back in a few minutes says great Barney's is selling this bag for 319 I was able to confirm that we would be more than happy to price match it for you if you'd want to buy it so I was like yes I love to purchase it because um, Nordstrom's offers free shipping. So I still paid for the sales tax, which was going to be a definite anyways. But I was able to save on the shipping costs that I would have paid at Barney's, which for me, that was great because, again, savings makes a difference. So I was able to buy this through Nordstrom, and um, 
I got a super phenomenal price. And again, I got the free shipping. Now, one thing that's great about price matching with kind of Nordstrom is that they do price match with their competitors like a Barney's, a Neiman Marcus, Bloomingdale's, so forth and so on. But it's great because they off, they since Nordstrom's website did not have the item on sale, they definitely had the stock of the item, which was excellent because a lot of places had this bag on sale in different colors, different leather textures, but they were going so fast. As I mentioned, when these designer handbags go on sale, they sell out so quickly. So it was really good to purchase from Nordstrom anyways because they were willing to price match and they had the stock availability because their site lists the item for full price. So it was kind of like just perfect, right? Uh, so the item arrived in like a couple of days. I filmed me opening the box and I will show that in clip. Um, this is not an unboxing video. Honestly, I couldn't wait to wear the video. I couldn't wait to wear the bag. So I really was impatient. I did film me kind of opening it and revealing it. So I will share that with you guys now. reveal of the bag again this is not an official unboxing video as I could not wait to sit down and film a video I just started wearing it and using the bag straight straight away so I didn't I was too impatient uh, I could just couldn't wait to sit down and film an unboxing video so that's why I'm here to kind of reveal the bag talk a little bit more about the bag I want to get into the bag and what I have in it so you guys can see what fits in this bag and then I'll do a brief um, kind of overview about the bag and the details um when i was shopping for like researching this bag after i had seen it in neiman marcus i only found like one other youtube video about it and it, and it wasn't even in english so i figured this would be a good bag to feature in a video um in case anyone's interested so let's get into kind of like the what's in my bag so you guys can see what i fit in this bag so starting with the back pocket, which is like this magnetic closure here. First thing I keep back there is my phone. I have the iPhone 6. Um, and this is my Givenchy Rottweiler case I have on there that I purchased at Farfetch.com. So that's my phone in the back of there. And then also in the back pocket... I keep my keys so let's open up the main compartment now and this is how it kind of looks down in there here is my wallet this is my Alexander Wayne Prisma compact wallet yeah so that's what I have in there next item is my Louis Vuitton Key clay, and this is in the Damier Bean. 
Um, I have a pair of my folding Ray-Ban wafers. So these are just the folding wafers. Um, I have this in directory thing because I went to the museum this past weekend. And then I had this little Mac makeup bag which has some hand sanitizer in there. I have NARS lipstick in Dolce Vita. I have my press kind of blotting powder. This is the Too Faced Primes and Poreless press powder. So that's what I use to touch up. I have my Starbucks After Coffee Peppermint Mints. I have a Bite Beauty lipstick and this is in the color Mulberry. I have this NYX Soft Lip Cream and this is in the color Copenhagen. And then I have just like this little pill case. Okay, guys, my bag is empty. So let me share a couple of features about this bag that I wanted to Features this removable longer shoulder strap, which is great because it allows me to wear the, the bag on my shoulder, like over my shoulder, and also as a crossbody bag. Now, when I wear the bag as a crossbody bag, it definitely looks more like the messenger style bag because of the shape. So in the back, there's this magnetic kind of slip pocket, which is great for like easy access to keys, phone, whatever. Leather. I have this bag, forgot to say, in the black smooth leather with the nickel silver tone hardware. You guys know I prefer silver tone hardware on my handbag, so this was an excellent combo for me to snatch up. I'm so glad I got it in the smooth leather with the silver tone hardware. So back to the features. So it has, it features two feet at the bottom. It has this kind of bar um, zipper pull, which is really nice. Then it features this belt clip on the side of the bag. This is like attached to the bag, doesn't it doesn't come undone, but it's just a nice detail there. My favorite detail on this bag is the top uh, handle here. This is a braided handle, leather handle, and it's, you know, it moves, but it's attached to this like bar here, which I think it really reminds me of the handle on a Fenty peekaboo bag. Um, so I really like that. It just looks so uh, cute and I love to carry it by the top handle. Um, I haven't removed the straps and worn them without the longer strap. I love to have that option. But I just think it's a really, really cute bag to wear handheld as well. So, guys, that's kind of just my overview about this new bag. I'm really loving it so far. I'm so glad I picked it up and I got it such for such a phenomenal price. So glad I was able to catch it. Again, I'll put all the links below to this handbag if you're interested in checking it out. I hope this video was helpful. Please give me a thumbs up if you're interested in a more detailed review about this handbag after I've worn it some more. And thanks again for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.